Hi guys, um, so this is a chicken and red wine stew. Um, here's the recipe. Um, it's very flexible. So this is the chicken, if you watch the butchery demo, this is the chicken that I've used um, that came from that. Um, so first of all, we're going to put it in a big bowl and I'm going to pop in some robust herbs. So that's thyme, rosemary, bay, mixture of that or whatever you've got in your garden or wherever you keep your herbs. So next I'm going to add um, some cloves of garlic, just chop those fairly simply um, and then yeah, chuck those in the bowl as well. Um, and then you want half your onion, I had some shallots that needed using here in this case so this is half of my shallots. I'm going to put that in there but if you've got an onion just half, half of the amount of onion that you're, you're putting in. So then we're going to add a good splash of oil, this is rapeseed oil in this case, and we're going to season it really well, and then we're going to um, leave this to marinade in the fridge for at least an hour. Um, two or three is fine, but at least an hour. So this is the stock from the uh, from the stock video, um, so if you've made that, it should look a bit like this. So bring this to the boil, we're going to add some wine, this is quite a decent amount of wine, it's about half a bottle of that, red wine. Um, we're going to bring a frying pan to a high heat, you can see it's smoking there, um, with a splash of rapeseed oil in this case, and we're going to brown off all the chicken pieces. Nice and hot. Don't overload the pan. Um, so yeah, so this should start to look a little bit like that. Nicely browned. Crispy skin. It's going to add bags of flavour to the um, to the stock, which is already quite flavoursome. Uh, I've removed the, the bits and bobs that we saw earlier in the marinade. That, that I've actually chucked that into the into the the pot, um, so that's not gone to not gone to waste, along with the herbs and everything. Okay, so uh, we added the rest of the onion, and in this case I had some carrots, not very much as you can see, but I had quite a lot of celery, as you can see there, so whatever you've got lying around the house, um, root veg wise, I mean, you could add potatoes if you like, um, but things like squash or uh, sweet potato or anything like that would, would be a bit weird, but yeah, just use your judgement. Okay, we're going to add the chicken to the pan now. As you can see, it's still on a little bit of a simmer, so we're just trying to reduce that down as much as we can. If you've made your if you've made your own stock using like a stock cube or something like that, you might not need to do this. But this is, as I said, is the stock from the other video. Add the juices from the pan. Don't forget those. You can deglaze the pan with some more wine if you need to. So we're going to put this in the oven, 160 degrees, uncovered, still reducing for about 45 minutes. Um, and then it'll come out a little bit thin, a bit soupy, bags of flavour, you can thicken it with some corn flour if you need, um, and season it well, but as you can see it looks pretty good there, and I would suggest you serve it with some nice buttery mash, that's it.